Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Matthew chapter 20, beginning in verse 26, and it goes like this. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered into, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. There's a story about a little boy. He and his daddy was uh, going to church one Sunday morning and they walked into the foyer. And the daddy noticed a new plaque upon the wall. And so he stood there and he was reading uh, the names uh, of the people that had passed. And and uh, a little boy said, what, what are those names, Daddy? He said, well, this is the ones that died in service, you know, the armed forces, and, uh, and, and this is a tribute to them. Uh, these were all members here at the church at one time or the other, and, and they gave their life. And so we're memorializing them. Little boy, he he didn't quite understand. He said, now, now, Daddy, tell me, was that the first service or the second service? <laughs> he didn't want to go to whichever one where he was a dying, did he? <laughs> well, you know, service. Have you considered being a servant and not a recipient. God calls you and I to be his servants. And we're supposed to go out into the hedges and byways and lead the loss to him. Now, you know, a lot of people do go to church and uh, they want to be served. They just That's all they want to do. They want to be served. You know, they want the music their way, their type, whether it's traditional hymns or the new 7-Eleven songs. Uh, uh, but they want it their way. And uh, they want to leave with a warm, fuzzy feeling. You know? Well, folks, it ain't Burger King. It's not... <laughs> It's not supposed to be that way. No, you and I are supposed to be servants. We're supposed to be in the army of God and serving others, going out and, and seeking the lost and leading them to the Lord, sitting by a bedside, reading the word of God to them and praying with them. That's what we're called to do. We're, we're called to be servants. Yet many of us don't want to take up that cross, do we? No. So, you know, if you're a child of God, I pray that you will inherit a servant's attitude and go out and serve others. No different than Jesus did. Well, I hope this encourages you today Find someone that you can serve and not be served. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.